Well, it is Sunday morning, and that can only mean one thing. Form an orderly queue outside the book, hook, the book road, the hook road, car boot arena. Because we are here for the Sunday morning boot fair. There's a baby crying. There's vans waiting. I think there's a baby crying. Might be me crying. But we're waiting to get in. Should be in in about 10 minutes um, to form the people queue. Um, but fingers crossed we're going to get some good bits today. I'm absolutely knackered because uh, I've been driving around. But I'll tell you about that a little bit later on. Fingers crossed for some good pickups. Well, I've been around once. Some donut stalls up there. And uh, yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to go around once more. I've got some good stuff actually, good prices. Um, so I look forward to showing you that in a bit. But yeah, I'm going through. We've probably got about, oh Jesus, 20, 30 rows. A lot of cars here. Right up, right up the back it goes. So one more sweep round. Hopefully get some more bargains. I've seen a few people I know. Um, yeah, and certainly getting a tan today. So I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, got a big old pile of stuff to go through. All strewn up the stairs. I thought what would be interesting is, if I go through it slowly, um, I'm going to tell you how much it is, but sort of top up yourself how much you think you would pay for each of these bits. And um, stick it in the comments. Because it's always interesting to see what other resellers would have paid. So like, go, go reasonable price. Don't do like ridiculously high or ridiculously low. So the first one is um, with charger, so looking complete, uh, eight mil Sony Handycam. Um, I don't know the model number, but it looks in good condition. A little bit of wear on the uh, strap there. So I got that along with this Sony as well, which looks like um, either it's an older version. Yeah, I think it's a slightly older version. But again, that has got the charger with it as well and all the batteries and everything. And, you know, sometimes the charger makes the price of the item. Um, so I'm going to tell you the price. For those two, he wanted a tenner, which, you know, is absolutely still, really. Um, now, even if you get something off to you at a good price, it's obviously good to get it, but I was sort of thinking, can I get any more, as you do as a reseller? So I'll grab these two bits, which are a little digital... Um, voice recorder and a Philips one and a lot of the time you know especially the tape ones may not work I said will you chuck those in as well and he did so I got those four for a tenner um, that was a really good price this one is a price that I think is just about okay so let me show you what I've got here and again, this is building up a bundle. So originally, I was only kind of interested in, I did look at these gazelles, but they've they're got a little bit of wear. The Lego things I bought before, and kind of not that keen to get, but like put them in because of the bundle. But what we've got here is, it's um, a SNES case. Uh, the, the the actual closing bits have broken, and the, case, the these cases aren't worth a lot, but it's got a SNES in it. Um, it's got the power supply, it's got the old RF lead, and it's got um, a competition pro pad. Um, and it comes with three games. You've got Super Mario World, you've got Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart, and Super Mario All-Stars. And I was looking at that and I was obviously interested. Um, but for a SNES, my top price is normally about 20 quid, console only. You don't often see the power supplies. So I might add in another sort of like 25 for that. And the games may be sort of a fiver each. Um, so I was at about 40 quid for that. Tops, you know, 30 preferably, to be honest. Um, and he wanted 60. So that obviously seems like it's miles and miles away. Um, but we had, you know, I offered 30 and sort of, he was sort of saying no. And then I said, well, okay, well, um, if you chuck in, the the uh, these because I was thinking about a fiver for these and the Darth Maul I was interested in um, I think I, I went up to I forget where I went up to on that 
But to cut to the chase and tell you how much I paid for the whole lot, it was 55 quid for all of that. So if I'm at sort of like 25 for that and the console, five for each of those, that's 40, 45, 50. You know, it's, it's around and about there. Um, it isn't too bad. I don't think I'm going to like make loads and loads out of it, but um, I think we got to like a price we're both kind of okay with. Um, ideally, I'd like to have paid less, but you can't always get things for less. Um, off the same guy, I did get a pair of uh, DMs. They're not like your classic DMs, um, but they've got, they're still toe cap, which I don't think is a, a great selling point really. But the fact that they're Dr. Martins may sell them. And they're two quid. Do need a polish up, so um, I have to get on with that. Okay, next up is another camcorder. It's um, VH VHSC, and I don't normally pick these up anymore. In fact, I never do. Um, let's see if I can get this thing open. There we go. So it's an old Panasonic one. Again, it's got the charger. It's in a nice case. Originally wanted 20 quid, um, which was, you know, I wasn't going to pay 20 quid. I did ask him, would he sell this separately, which is the VHSC cassette adapter, and he wouldn't, and I can understand it. So in the end, um, I bought the whole lot, and I ended getting it for ended up getting it for a tenner. Um, if you do see these in a rummage box, always worth getting those because that on its own will sell possibly twenty quid, I think, in that condition. So you know, I've already made um, my money back on that just with that adapter. I haven't got a clue on the camera. I mean, I'll check it out. It may well not work. The phone's disintegrated on that. Um, but like I said, I've already made my money. Um, Mario Plush, 50p, sort of bog standard buy. Pair of Adidas, uh, what are they? Autolite Float. They were two quid, so again, I'll clean those up. And they'd be around about 15, I would have thought. And then, I never get media. Uh, don't normally bother with media at all, but I saw a couple of complete box sets. And they were two quid each, and I ended up getting both of them. Um, don't know how much you'd pay. Do put it in the comments for the whole lot. I hope you're adding it all up. But I paid three quid for all of that. It'd be very interesting if you are totting this up, to see what your totals are against mine. You know, it'd be funny if you end up with like 80 quid and I end up with 400. I'm doing something wrong. But we shall see. A few bits and bobs of gaming, um, Sega Saturn steering wheel, don't often see these, so I do like to get them where I can. Um, I'm able to test it as well because I've got a Saturn with uh, Sega Rally on it. And I got that along with this broken DS, original DS. So it's completely cracked here, one of the hinges is gone as well. But it does turn on and the screens are good. So I don't know whether I can recase these, I don't know if the, you, you know, cases for this release are available um, but it spares and repairs anyway if I get one with a smash screen um, so price on those five or each which I think is it's about right for that I think it's pretty good for that um, let me know what you think I have a Xbox 360 it's got I think it was a 250 gig yeah 250 gig hard drive in there Got the power supply, um, and there's an extra kettle lead in there. Got a couple of kettle leads with it, all tangled up. Um, no controller, no HDMI cable. But that was oh, in actual fact, is it an HDMI cable? Yeah, it is. You can use an HDMI cable. So I've got a bunch of those. That cost me three pounds, which I don't think is bad. I don't normally pick up. The Xbox 360. I might get the slim version occasionally, but um, three pounds couldn't really argue. Well, in actual fact, I did argue because she wanted a five or an half of a three. So there you go. I'm terrible, aren't I? Aren't I a bad man? Okay, last few bits and bobs. Again, more hardcore haggling gone on here. So Harry Potter was 50p. Didn't haggle on that. Uh, the Le Click was. It's in new in box. Uh, that was a pound. They wanted two. This is cool. 
It's a bit dirty, but it's a sunshade, Snoopy sunshade. Um, Liz loves her peanuts, so um, I'll show that. We may well use that. It's only cardboard. That was 50p as well. Um, this Nest Mini, um, I had one of these the other day, and I think I, I paid the other day about seven quid. I got that one for a fiver. So it sold pretty quickly as well, so that's pretty good. And the uh, the brother, P Touch, I've had literally hundreds of these. That was two pound fifty. A sort of standard flip that one would go for about fifteen to twenty quid. Truth, always good at Christmas, especially the family edition. And that is in good condition. That was a pound. And I saw these trainers right at the start, and I just kind of like the look of them. Um, unfortunately, they wanted £20, which for me, trainers, I always think I've got to get them for like less than a five or, five or under. Um, and they said, well, yeah, but they've only been, they're practically new. Well, they do need a clean. I can see there's not a lot of wear, but they're not sparkling new. Um, they said they cost £100 in the shop. Well, I, maybe they did, but... That's not, you know, I'm not really too fussed about that. But they did look good. I thought, yeah, there is, you know. But my accent, my limit on that in my head was I didn't want to pay more than the tenner. They then came down to 15. And this was on the second time round, so they hadn't sold them. I ended up, I kind of went to 12 and then I just paid like 12.50 12 for them because it was like a halfway house. So... I don't know if there's a great demand for feeler trainers. Um, they certainly do look nice, but £12.50 paid. I would hope, you know, to get... I'm going to put them on for at least 30 I'm going to have to research them. They might be 50 I don't know, um, and just see how we go. I mean, I kind of got a feeling that maybe, like, Nikes or Adidas would be more in demand uh, rather than feeler. But we, we will see what happens with those. Uh, Miffy, that was a 50p... Um, plush Miffy always sells really well. I don't know where if you're still adding up or have you lost the will to live. <laughs> this this little lot here was off the guy I bought the PS uh, the sorry the SNES off, um, and I, I was having a good chat with him actually because um, when I ended up buying that SNES he kind of said oh well yeah all right I'll sell it to you for fifty five with all those other bits just just so you'll go away, <laughs> which I think he was joking. Because uh, he also said he was going to watch me, uh, watch the channel later to see me, you know, what I, what I'm going to sell it at. So he's he's a view of the channel. So um, yeah, it was a good chat with him. And these little bits here, all little kind of like this is stuff the masterpieces we got. I think all this sort of stuff. Uh, those five bits were two quid, I think. I think that was right. Um, so not too bad. This I've told the Darth Vader's before. Um, but this little one caught my eye. And then the final one, House Clearance Guy, had a deluxe Scrabble. I thought it was the best thing on earth because he wanted me to pay a five for it. And I ended up paying two quid for that. So it, it needs a bit of a clean out. But um, I've actually got one of these that I haven't listed yet. Um, and I've never sold a deluxe. So um, I'll be interested to see what that goes for. I'm imagining 15 to 20, something like that. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, I've got to tidy all this away now. I can't leave it here for people to trip over. If you were sort of like turning that up in your head, uh, do pop in the comments sort of a rough idea of how much you, you'd have paid for that. I'm going to add all this up now and um, I'll, uh, I'll put a total in, maybe in the title, uh, as to how much I paid for all of this wonderful car boute. But yeah, if you did enjoy the video, do click the thumbs up and hope to see you soon. Take it easy.